<laughs> sad face. <laughs> Alright, so I made a big mistake and I over torqued my oil drain plug. I know, really stupid. It's an aluminum oil pan and I should have known better. This happens to a lot of riders. So learn from my mistakes and here's what we're doing. So on this bike you have to take apart, you have to take the headers off, the exhaust off, you have to hinge the basically disconnect the radiator, hinge it forward so you can get to the headers, take the headers off. Um I'm trying to think of the order I did that. So yeah, so radiator, all the all the uh, hoses undone, drain the radiator, the uh, coolant. I'm going to be replacing that anyway, so what better time to do it? So, um, I also I waited until the oil change was needed, so changing the oil at the same time, obviously, during the entire month. Um, so, drained the coolant, hinged the radiator forward, dropped the headers, the exhaust out of the way. On these bikes, unfortunately, you can't drop the oil pan without moving the exhaust which calls for all of this work when it should have been like an hour job now it's like a four hour job but uh saving myself like 700 bucks which is what the uh, local dealership quoted me so yeah not gonna do that so i'm doing it all myself we're about to drop the oil pan right now and i will show you this is gonna be the new oil pan i obviously have a new drain bolt for that gasket so uh all that stuff so it's a fairly simple process but uh just a little time consuming this is my little diagram right here if you ever do this you should probably do this too because all of these bolts are different lengths and uh so you want to know which one goes back in the right place so that's what this is for right here um so what all we are doing is we're not just doing this, we're doing all change, we're doing the oil pan replacement, we're changing the, the coolant to the inch nice. Um, what else are we doing? I think that's it. You think that's it? I don't, I don't think that's it. Um, also, when the headers go back on, I have bought new gaskets for the headers. Um, I'm going to replace those while I'm here. Um, also going to be doing the spark plugs most likely tomorrow because I don't really want to do them tonight so um, I'm not going to go and show the entire process because this would be like a four hour long video nobody let's be honest nobody is going to watch a four hour long video that's like watching Titanic twice all right so all right so that stuff's out of the way you want to go on the other side and we'll go ahead and drop the ball pan So, I don't know how much you're going to be able to focus, um, but we are one bolt away from dropping the oil pan right now. So, I'm going to kind of hold it in place, and then you will be able to see me drop it. Hopefully, it's not going to make too much of a mess. I've let the oil drain for about, probably well over an hour now. fun stuff the joys of owning a bike actually you know what if you're safe about taking your oil pan off or your i'm sorry not your oil pan but your oil drain plug if you're safe about doing that and not stripping it like i did uh, you won't have this problem can i see I, that bicep flex again uh, <laughs> <laughs> that bicep ain't ready for this um so yeah if you uh, learn from my mistakes a lot of people want to show you them making these mistakes but uh why not it's a it happens know, it's part of learning um now we won't do that to my bike yeah exactly um and you know i've come over the time over the years of riding bikes i've met quite a few people that have uh that have done this to the bike and you know what, I should have been more careful, but for some reason I just, I just over torqued it just a little bit. And basically it's aluminum and it was strip, basically. And it has caused my bike to drip. I mean, like this much, it will drip about this much per week. And it's been doing that for a long time now. Um, so yeah, we're finally going to get rid of that problem. And uh, 
we should be about ready to drop this sucker. That's it right there. And that's the oil pan. So, uh, yeah, fun stuff. So this is all gonna be at the place, the gasket, this entire oil pan. Um, so yeah, fun stuff, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you when I'm done with this, actually. I might show you the, the end process. You wanna show them up inside the engine? I don't know if you'll be able to see much in there. Getting oil on my phone. Yeah, it shouldn't be dripping too much now. But yeah, that's my uh man, look at my gears, they look solid. <laughs> I can't see the phone, so hopefully Yeah, it looks it good. <laughs> Honestly, everything in there looks really solid. So I'm happy to see that. You know, you don't want to look inside your engine if you don't have to, but uh unfortunately some of us make stupid mistakes and uh you guys get to reap the benefits of that. So now you don't have to look inside your own engine, you can look inside mine and be like, hey, don't strip your oil drain plug like I did. All right, so we're gonna put this baby back together and then we'll show you that later. Alrighty, day two update. Um, we flushed the coolant last night. Um, I believe we flushed it three times, got it nice and clear, and now it is refilled with the engine ice. Um, changed out the oil pan last night that was probably the most time consuming because like i stated in the first video we had to um basically had to take the radiator hoses off um hinge it forward by disconnecting that bolt right there um disconnected the hoses um hinged that forward so we didn't have to remove the radiator um took the headers off. Um, I replaced the header gaskets when I put them back on, by the way. Um, always a good idea to do that. So, um, as you can see, this is the new oil pan, if it'll focus. I've always ran can in on every bike I've ever owned. Um, <clears throat> so no surprise there. Um, new oil pan, new drain plug. So she's looking good. Um, she's been fired up a few times already, um, just to make sure there's no leaks whatsoever. And, uh, so anyways, um, now I am working on the spark plugs. So, we're in here. These are all covered up just to keep from, uh, debris getting in there. Check out my, my ghetto PVC <laughs> gas tank holder. Um, so just pulled the first coil. There's a little bit of a pain to get those out. You have to put like a three inch adapter in, and then once it's in, I have to put another three inch adapter because the six inch will, will hit this and it won't go in there right. So I'll show you real quick what I've done. So first coil's out. This is the first coil's out, and this is the spark plug. So this, if it'll focus, not the greatest looking spark plug, but keep in mind that is nearly 30,000 miles on this spark plug. And honestly, I never had one single issue on fire up, on starting up or just performance in general. So, uh, but it's always a good idea to change these out after a few years. So we're going to the NGK laser iridiums. So that, is the new spark plug. Old versus new, what do you think? Quite a bit better, huh? So I wanted to do just a little bit of update on that. So once I put her all back together, we're gonna fire up, and make sure everything's good to go. All right, there she is. All put back together, spark plugs in, cool and flushed. And, well, Pan replaced. Um, I'd say it took me a total of about six hours to do everything. Um, I'd say about four hours of that was the oil pan because it was just a pain to get to. But uh, yeah, she is back in all of her glory. Actually, not quite because 
she doesn't have all of her fairings back on yet <laughs> but that's gonna happen here um, soon I wanted to go out and get a little test ride on it um, and then I'm gonna bring it back home and just check it one more time for any leaks whatsoever from the oil pan if so I'll just tighten it up hopefully not though um, other than that she's running very cool it actually did not even go over 205 just now um, and then the uh, temperatures started dropping again so uh, yeah I'm pretty happy guys um, I'd say I spent probably about 250 bucks total in uh, in everything that I, I bought with this bike just now so uh, honestly uh, I can't really complain so let's go ahead and start her up It's a Suzuki, so I have to uh, clutch it. Hang on. So there you have it. It's super windy right now. Hopefully uh, the wind noise isn't too bad. But uh, obviously the fairings aren't put back on yet. But uh, they will be here soon. So. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Have my baby back running like she should be. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace and ride safe.